Cornelius is busy fasting, praying, doing this, doing it. Cornelius, Cornelius. This is the biggest problem that I have with, with believers of this day. Even God himself, he has got a problem with it again. <laughs> he will tell you when you pray, like he told me. Praise God. One day God opened my eyes and God said, son, come here. And then I saw a group of people going to pray into the mountain. Wow, they are walking. They went to the mountain for days praying and fasting. And they came down home just for one, one day. And they went back into the mountain to pray. Right? Now they come back again, they spend three days at home. And they go back again to the mountain, they spend 14 days. So it's 14 days in the mountain, three days at home. 21 days in the mountain, one day at home. Watch this. If you get this, then I'll close. I'll be done. Now, as I was looking, they are doing movements. Mountain, home. Mountain, home. I kept seeing the face of the one who was talking to me, frowning, becoming angry. And I asked the question, what is going on? I thought this is something that pleases God. I thought this, this is something that is supposed to cause God to smile. And God says, I don't smile in such kind of a thing. I said, why? And God said, I have sent men on earth to be fruitful and to multiply. Mm -hmm. The main business I have released men for on earth is to dominate it. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Non-believers, they are outside there doing major businesses. Ask them, how many hours do you sleep? What are they trying to do? They are trying to take everything to themselves. Mm. Yet believers are in the mountain praying. <laughs> Hello? I said, Hello? <laughs> believers are spending 21 days up the mountain. When they come down, there's no business proposal, even one. They are not even going to a restaurant where billionaires are coming so that they get connections. And that's disappointing. Because God to be disappointed. Because God wants you to pray when you get into a prayer closet and speak with few tongues. Come out. This is why he says, watch and pray. Not pray and watch, no. It doesn't go like that. It's watch and then pray. If I see a farm, a building that I want, I should just look at it and say, okay, yeah, yeah, this is what I want. Go into prayer and say, I declare it into my life in the name of Jesus Christ. When I go there, I must come and say, right, who's the one of this building? I want this building. This is what God wants. Watch this. Cornelius, you are paying everything. You are paying tithes, you are giving offering, you are doing this, you are praying, you are praying. Okay, fine. Let's make you happy by releasing an angel. An angel is coming down to just to confirm. What's this? It's not, the angel is not doing anything. Read it from your Bible, the book of Acts. The angel just came down to confirm and say, Listen, God, your prayer has been heard. Everything that you, you were doing has come to the Lord before God. And all these things, yeah, God knows. Okay, so what's next? That's the question you got to ask. Look at this. But now, we now want that which you were praying for to begin to take place. Amen. I now want to see what you have been praying for, for years, for days, to begin to materialize. Yes. Yes. But the joy the joy of God. Yes. As long as we are still doing good and it's not long, it's not just showing up. God, God is not here. Are you there with me? Now, Cornelius sent two men to a man, to a man, to a man, invite him to come to your house. The Bible says the two guys went, found Simon Peter praying upstairs. The guy, as he was praying, got a revelation of the two guys already that are waiting for him downstairs. Connection, 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 set connection. Who has designed this Cornelius with his hours, with his prayers alone? He was not 
able to say to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was not able. But look at this. The angel came down to influence, to force this guy to say, please, connection is what you will make you successful. Say two men. Two men were sent. Called Simon Peter and Simon Peter said, right, I'm coming. Let's go. The Bible says the angel left the house of Cornelius and left Cornelius without. Cornelius was not vibrating. Cornelius was not speaking in tongues. Cornelius did not receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> but Simon Peter stepped into the house of Cornelius. Oh, yes. Folks, relatives, and friends gathered waiting for him. And Simon Peter opened up his mouth and he says, That says the Lord. Christ, Christ, Christ. The Bible says, as he was doing that, the Holy Ghost filled the house. Oh, yeah. Enter to every individual who was sitting in there, caused them to begin to speak in time. Oh my God. Yeah. To a point that they now have a tangible thing of what they believe. If you read it nicely, from that moment, they were no longer the same. Amen. Why? Connection. Who is telling me right now that he's opening serious doors for those that are in here? As long as you can hear me, listen to me. Remember, I told you that the Bible in the book of Hebrews says, Whosoever cometh to him must come believing that he is a rewarder of them that diligently not just seek him anyhow, diligently Amen. your people are still sitting in here at this point in time still to experience this goodness that's diligence you are seeking him diligently Amen. you should have left this place are you there with me? he is telling me right now to tell you Amen. that you are the first person that he is going to be one. I decree to bless the prophet of God. Yes. This calling upon my life, I don't doubt it. I, are you there with me? Yes. You see, it's, it's, it's another thing if you are called by me and if you are called by God. I know who called me. I said, I know who called me. The wind and the storm might be, but I know who called me. No matter how long it's going to take, I know who called me. And I know the kind of way he has called me. Are you here? I said, Are you here? He is telling me to declare something right here. In the next seven days, just seven. Just say seven. You see, in the book of uh, John, <laughs> I love the book of John. John chapter number one, going down to verse number 46, going down there. There is something that happens. A guy called Nathani never expected anything good to come from Nazareth. But here comes Philip telling Nathani that that thing that you never expected to come out of Nazareth is now here. There are people who are not even expecting anything good to come out of you. Let me tell you. Because of your diligence, because you have been seeking God so diligently, they will see that good thing. Now, when you confess, he says, Is there anything good that can come from us? Jesus was standing there, and immediately Jesus looks at Nathaniel and he says, Nathaniel, a Jew indeed. I saw you even before Philip called you. You were sitting on the what on earth? I never expected some kind of an anointing to be upon this person. They will see it on you. Yeah. I said they will see a great anointing on you. You will be a sign of prosperity in your family. Oh, yeah. What is just preparing you to be a sign, to be an example? Yeah. The Bible says in the book of Jesus, be examples of believers. Oh, in conduct, in being, in doings, oh, yes. in prosperity. In healing, in the, you are going to be an example oh, yes. in your family, in your generation, in your town, in your ministry. You are an example. I said you are an example. 
I said you are an example. Yes. They will come and look at you and say, ah, is he the one? We never expected to see him wearing a suit. What happens? Is there any good thing that can come from Nazareth? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. I said the answer is yes. At the next stage, Sarah concedes. You don't get what I'm saying. The virgin gave back. Nobody expected such a thing to happen. You will drive the car, yet when they don't expect you to.